Portables, take 47. The term portable originally meant water that was fit to drink. Now it's come to mean just about anything and much, much more. For the purposes of this segment, we'll call a portable anything you choose to drink. No matter if you, you're biking or hiking, you will need lots of water to drink. I usually find that depending on the temperature, I drink between two and three liters of water a day. When cooking things like pasta or vegetables, you'll require extra water. So I can go more than a day without getting more water because I carry three liters in a collapsible sack on the bottom of the front pannier and two liters in bottles on the frame. I never miss a chance to top up, so I'll refill wherever I can. Remember that while touring, you will often have to buy water. Drinking water doesn't come free everywhere in this world. I can't do without a good cup of coffee in the morning. It's hard to find one in the middle of the forest. This is where my compact coffee maker comes in. It really looks like an insulated mug, which is what it is. But it makes a difference. It's a French press coffee maker. Here's how it works. The top has a plunger on it. Just pour the ground coffee into the bottom and add boiling water. Stir and place the lid on top. After five minutes, press down the plunger and enjoy. You can pour it into other containers, or a mug if you wish, and add powdered milk and sugar. But I like mine black and strong. Some people enjoy wine or beer with their meals, me included. In many places in the world, one can consume alcoholic beverages just about anywhere. Where I live, drinking alcoholic beverages in public is against the law, and so is being inebriated. In Germany, where we are today, you can walk down the street drinking beer. Unless there is a sign saying that you can't. It's very tempting to drink as you tour, but I would like to state right now, for the record, that you should never drink alcohol and ride your bicycle, and this goes double when you're in a foreign country with different rules. If you're going to drink, do so in moderation and after you finish riding for the day. Glass bottles can add a lot of weight to your load. Beer also comes in these aluminum tins. By the way, in Germany, you have to buy them from the gas or petrol stations because in the shops, they're all in returnable glass bottles. Sometimes wine comes in PET containers, PET bottles, or often 16 ounce Tetra packs. Even if you can't get these, you can usually decant into a smaller, lightweight container. Please be aware that if you're decanting beer, it often loses its carbonation, and you'll have to consume it sooner rather than later. I love these stoppers. They seal non-twist top bottles and wine containers and prevent spillage. I carry at least one at all times, and it keeps wine and beer from leaking and keeps beer carbonated. Whatever you do, remember, you're on tour to enjoy. Stay sober when you finish writing for the day. If you like, have a couple of drinks. Gross!